Uh, just went into the, you know, watch some film, figure out, you know, situations where we could get better. That was basically <clears throat> what it was today. Is there a multitude of things that are just kind of not working with this team right now? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think, you know, obviously we've been struggling shooting the ball uh, kind of down the line, and but we let that kind of affect uh, the way I, we play. Uh, we just got to play the same way every game uh, in, in terms of our effort, and, you know, our, our, we got to get back to that defensive mentality that we've been had, and uh, we'll be all right if we do that. What do you think is causing sort of the chaos around this team right now? Uh, chaos, I wouldn't say that much. I don't want to say it's chaos, but uh, I mean, we, we lost a, a lot of uh, some games, you know, we lost five in a row, I think, or something like that. And nobody feels good right now, of course, uh, which we shouldn't, you know, we've made a lot of mistakes, but I mean, we still got to, you know, just, just, just learn from it uh, and get better. We got to stop it sooner than later and not make it a habit. Are you guys holding together behind the scenes? Have you guys had conversations as like? Of course. Of course. Uh, you know, we, we, we're we NBA players, uh, and we got to, you know, just obviously we know we got to play better, but I mean, we don't let the outside noise get to us. At least I don't. I can only speak for myself. I, Is there been anything different in the messaging today from the coaches, teammates? Your yeah, we got to play a whole lot better. <laughs> Nothing, you know, uh, Nothing we can't control. I think, you know, first, you know, our effort and our physicality got to be better. Uh, and then, uh, you know, our, our, our getting back to the game plan like we were for a while. Uh, I think we got away from that a little bit. Uh, we got to, we got to, that got to be better. Um, what's, what, how do you feel about what, what Buddy had to say tonight and his remarks? Uh, I, he, all I know is he uh, apologized today, but I don't, I didn't even know what he said. I asked him. So I don't know. He apologized to the group? Yeah, he apologized to the group, but I, I didn't even hear what he said, to tell you the truth. Okay. What's the biggest thing that's going to happen in if you want to take the up to the biggest team's capable? Pardon me? What's the, the, the thing you think has to happen immediately with this team if you want to take the up to? I think our, our, uh, just our offense can't, you know, uh, predict, you know, how we play on the defensive end. I think our defense has to, you know, predict the offense. And we gotta get a lot more, uh, we gotta get a lot more in tune on the defensive end like we were. You guys, That's about You guys lost uh, both Aaron and Marvin for a significant portions of time. Do you get the sense that you're in for another long stretch like that? I have no idea. That's that's uh, the training staff question and I, I don't know. Going through that before, do you feel like you guys are prepared to go without the uh, I feel like, you know, uh, if, if called upon, guys are you know are ready to step up. But uh, I don't know how with the logistics of all that stuff. Corey, did last night last kind of feel like a, a low point? I mean, obviously there's two injuries, kind of things kind of snowball. Even though there's a double overtime, got the two wolves. I mean, five straight losses. I mean, does, it, does it kind of feel like a low point in the season for you guys? Uh, I, I don't, I don't understand what you're trying to ask me, huh? I mean, do you feel like maybe the lowest moment of the season that you have experienced? So far? No, it felt shitty, of course. We lost a lot of games in a row. Nobody wants to lose, but uh, we got to regroup. The game's over. Uh, we got to stay level headed, and we got to, obviously, we know we got to compete a lot better. That's just what it is, you know? Thank you, guys. Uh, no problem.